Hello and welcome to the Learning Kpel channel. In this channel, we discuss about simple problems and try to find out even simpler answers. Hmm. So today's problem is, what is a fraction? Have you ever wondered how much we have to study about fraction? And somehow we manage to pass in the exam also. But the question is, do we really understand what is a fraction? Let's find out the answer. Well, fraction means a little part of something. But when we talk in the language of numbers, there is a way of representing a fraction. Let's see with an example. This is a whole piece of clay. Yeah, don't worry, it's a little irregular circle, but consider it a proper circle. So this is called a whole piece of clay. And when I cut it into two equal halves, each part represents half of the whole. So the clay as a whole was represented as one, but the half part of clay is represented as a half or one by two. So now we can see that a fraction is represented by writing one number on the top and another at the bottom separated by a bar. The number at the bottom tells us how many equal parts a thing was cut or broken into and the number on the top tells us how many parts we have in hand. Now let's take another example. Taking the same clay again. But this time I am going to cut it into four equal pieces. Yes, I will take one, two and three pieces of this clay in my hand and leave the fourth on the table. So how will I represent this one as a fraction? Yes, so the number of pieces the clay was cut into is four. Hence, four goes at the bottom as denominator. And the number of pieces in my hand is 3. So 3 goes at the top as a numerator. So the fraction will be written as 3 by 4. Let's take just one more example. Now I have 5 hand towels of mixed colors. 2 are blue, 1 is green and 2 are red. Tell me what is the fraction of green color towel in this situation. I will give you one minute to think. What? Did you just say 1 by 5? Bingo! You have been declared as the master of fractions. So, next time when you score 10 on 10 in any subject, you will know that you have attempted all the 10 questions and scored well done. So, keep learning. Keep studying but don't forget to apply your knowledge to enhance your knowledge. And subscribe the channel to learn more videos like this. Take care. Bye-bye.